In this video, we are going over how to be an attacking threat in football like Atletico Madrid and French superstar Antoine Griezmann. He is considered one of the best attacking players in the world right now, so let's take a closer look at why. The first area we're going to look at is Griezmann's teamwork and work rate on the pitch. The guy is truly a live wire who is constantly buzzing around with or without the ball. He works hard for the team in both the attack and in defense as well. His combination play is on a whole other level. Because of his good control skill and movement, he is able to combine quickly with his teammates in order to create chances and score goals himself. His work rate is also something to be admired, and I really wish more strikers valued this very important area of the game as having a higher work rate just works in your favor. Next way Griezmann is an attacking threat is he's extremely direct. You will see him running directly towards the opponent's goal multiple times per game. He runs at the defense, at players, and puts them under pressure. This makes the defenders nervous, opens up space, and gives his team more of a chance of scoring. It also makes it more likely that he'll get fouled and get a free kick in a dangerous position. Now, if you want to be an attacking threat, this is something you absolutely need to do. You need to be able to run with the ball at speed in close control and put the defense on the back foot. Now, don't overdo it as you'll see Griezmann knows when to pass, but not doing this will limit you. So here is a drill you can do to work on this area called gate dribbling. Now you're gonna be dribbling as fast as you can with the ball in close control. And this is what Griezmann does in his matches. So again, if you can't go at full pace yet, just go as fast as you can while keeping it in control and then work your way up. The more you do this drill, the better at it you'll get and the faster you'll be able to go while keeping it in close control. Just remember that keeping it in close control is incredibly important. So don't sacrifice control for speed. Eventually, you will be able to run as fast as you can with the ball in close control, but work your way up to that. Also, to add to this area, you need to take risks. Every time Griezmann goes on a run like this, he is risking losing the ball, but he knows that the risk can pay off. Being direct is as much a mindset as it is a skill because you could be skillful enough to be more direct, but if you're too nervous to do it or you don't want to take the risk, you won't be doing it and you're missing out by not uh, taking risks during your matches by being direct. Finally, you need to have great ability with the ball in general to be as dangerous as Griezmann. This obviously takes time to develop, but let's go over how he does it. First, you should be aware that he wants the ball and shows for it. He doesn't shy away from it. His teammates know that if they play him the ball, he'll keep it because he's confident about wanting the ball and he's confident when he has the ball. Griezmann is able to dribble quickly with the ball in close control, and this is an incredibly valuable skill because if a player tries to tackle him, he'll usually be able to evade it because the ball is right there in front of him and isn't too far away. A drill you can do to improve this is called the Brazilian box. Doing this drill often will help develop your dribbling ability with the ball in close control. You're going to alternate between dribbling a little more quickly and then dribbling a little more in control. Do this drill often if you want to see improvements in this area. Griezmann is obviously very skillful and unpredictable. It's hard to get the ball from him because you never know what he's going to do. You can't predict what he's going to do. Now this does take a lot of time um, and work to develop, but by focusing on this area, you're going to get better and better. So keep practicing your skill moves, the Brazilian box, and gate dribbling in order to develop this. Remember, the more work you put in, the more results you get. It's not enough to watch this video or to know what you need to work on. You actually have to put the work in. You have to learn what it is you need to do. You then need to take action and act 
and then you'll improve. And eventually by doing that enough times, you'll stand out. Okay, that's how to be an attacking threat in football like Antoine Griezmann. Now be sure to click the I button in the upper right hand corner to vote on the next player we cover. Let me know in the comments who you voted for and who you also want to see videos on if the selection wasn't up there. Thank you for watching the video. Please like it and share it as that helps the channel to grow faster. That's a great way to support the channel. Also subscribe if you haven't already. I'll put two videos from this series, different videos from this series on the screen so you can continue learning and continue to become a better player. And I will see you in the next video.